This is Car Guys New England, your YouTube channel for anything automotive. We're getting ready to take out this uh, surround right here um, and the main goal is to replace this. So once we get this surround out, I can slide the radio out and then I should be able to just pop up this center piece here and it'll give us access to the nuts that are on the bottom of these two Allens. sure what I did but I got it Now basically there's a bunch of little lock tabs on the bottom of here and I've essentially just kind of popped it up and I think there's two legs under here as well. So we may have to take out this little insert and see if we can cheat this up just a tiny bit so we can get that to pop up and come out. 25 Torx bit to undo the five screws that are holding this insert in the center console. Now, now that we got those T25s out, we're using a seven millimeter to take off these little nuts right here that hold the front of the center console down. Now we'll remove those and the two washers. And now we can pull that out just enough to hopefully cheat this out. go got it removed so basically what you have is you got two allens at the top and then on the underside they come all the way through you have a spacer here two washers and a 10 millimeter nut 
So once we screw that off, now these will come straight out. There we go. There you go. All right, so as you can see now, we got it fully disassembled. We went ahead and cleaned it up the best we can. Um, a lot of times, these center consoles will get extremely dirty, and it'll look like the, the um, emblems and stuff are worn off the buttons, um, but that's actually not the case. Usually, it's just so dirty. Um, you can get them cleaned up the best you can. There is a few companies out there that you can remove these panels or the panel that's on the side of the dashboard. You can send them out and they'll refinish everything. Uh, as you can see, we did a pretty good job. Everything looks nice and clean. So we're gonna go ahead now and put it all back together with the new E-Gear cover. One other thing to note is that you can see that these bolt holes are elongated here. So when you put this in and you get it all situated, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you center it because you can have it off to one side. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and center it the best you can and tighten everything down. As you remember, we had a spacer. So the spacer goes first, then a washer, then the E-gear buttons. Another washer and then the 10 millimeter bolt nut. And there you have it. back in you want to make sure you got no connectors or anything like that we're gonna go ahead and slip it back down under the center console lid and then finish reassembly Now that we got it back together, you'll see that we do have this one connector that we didn't disconnect. It looks like it might be something for the uh, factory ashtray option that comes in these cars. This one doesn't have it. Uh, once we get it back together, you know, we'll turn the car on, we'll make sure all these buttons work, but this is an extra connection that's under there. So if you don't remember taking it apart, don't panic. Um, it's just kind of tucked under here, out of sight and uh, you'll be good to go. Now we went ahead, we reinstalled the surround in the center console, put those five T25s back. Um, we like to make sure that we get everything back the way the client had it, any spare change, bobby pins, you know, things of that nature. So get everything back in that center console for them and good to go. So that's how you go ahead and change the E-gear ring and plate on a 2008 Lamborghini Murcielago. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to us. This is Josh at Silver Arrow Service, located right in Litchfield, New Hampshire. You can reach us by email at info at silverarrowservice.com or by phone 603-566-2075.